That is how much Georgia Tech has been outscored in their last four games against Power 5 competition. The latest came against Ole Miss on Saturday in a 42-0 beatdown and it was not even that close. In the fourth year under head coach Jeff Collins, Georgia Tech has not made any progress as a program and it is time to move on. The game against Ole Miss on Saturday might have been the most poorly coached game by Collins. The Rebels outgained Georgia Tech 547 to 214. Georgia Tech had yet another punt blocked, the third of the season. The run defense was terrible and let Zach Evans and Quentin Judkins both run for over 100 yards. In non-garbage time, Georgia Tech's offense looked lifeless and was poorly coached. This was just a flat-out poorly coached team that had no business being on the same field with Ole Miss and in your fourth season as the head coach, that is completely unacceptable. Jeff Collins has not made the Georgia Tech program any better in four years. Amber Searles USA Today sports the lack of progress is the most frustrating thing during Collins' tenure as the Yellow Jackets head coach. While things were expected to be bumpy in the first couple of seasons with the transition from Paul Johnson, Collins never showed that this program was making any serious strides in recruiting and on the field. No matter the challenges he faced, it is just inexcusable to lose to the Citadel, Northern Illinois, and score two points in a loss against Temple. The number of blowout games was an issue as well. Tech could not compete against big-time teams that finished the season ranked. This past Saturday is a perfect example of that. Another thing that Collins was supposed to be able to do was coach defense, as he had been one of the top defensive coordinators in college football at both Mississippi State and Florida. Georgia Tech has consistently had one of the worst defenses in the country under Collins and defensive coordinator Andrew Thacker, and while the offensive turnover is understandable, the defense should not have been this bad year in and year out under Collins. Georgia Tech should move on from Jeff Collins after their performance yesterday. Dale Zaney USA Today Sports It is also on Collins that some of Tech's best players felt the need to transfer out and seek other opportunities after the 2021 season. Transfers happen to every program, but Tech was decimated by losing their best player in Jammer Gibbs, their two best defensive linemen, and other players to the portal after the 2021 season. The recruiting had some bright spots early on but Collins could not build on those classes that brought in players like Gibbs, quarterback Jeff Sims, and other highly ranked high school stars the current class ranks outside of the top 50 and after the game yesterday, it would not be a surprise to see some of these kids decommit the lack of development from Sims is also a reflection of Collins and the offensive staff that he hired. Sims was a very talented quarterback coming out of high school and showed major flashes while at Georgia Tech. Consistency was never there for Sims, and there was never anyone that could seriously push Sims for the job. Jeff Sims has not developed at Georgia Tech, and that is a reflection of Jeff Collins' Brett Davis USA Today Sports. It is fair to point out that Collins did deal with two big obstacles in his way as the head coach of Georgia Tech. The roster turnover on offense when moving away from the triple option is one that any head coach would have a challenge doing and he had to overcome the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic and the various challenges that brought. It does not excuse the poor overall job that Collins did as a head coach, but it is fair to point out that this was an incredibly hard job from the outset and only got harder by circumstances out of his control at the beginning. I was willing to give Collins the shot this year with the new staff that he had hired and the transfers that he brought in. But three games in, it is clear this program needs to start over. I don't know when the best time to make the move would be, it could be immediately, but I think it is possible to wait until the bye week as well, as that is when a lot of moves are made in college football. The bottom line is that Collins has not won enough. There was never any progress in several areas, and while he seemed like a possible fit at the time because of his connections to the program, Collins could not take advantage of the opportunity that he had at Georgia Tech to bring them into the new era of college football, and it is time for Georgia Tech to find someone else to lead the program. Facebook, All Yellow Jackets see all of the latest Georgia Tech news at allyellowjackets.com. Check out the Georgia Tech homepage. Listen to the Goal Line Stand podcast for the best Georgia Tech and national college football coverage. More Georgia Tech-related content, ACC football, scoreboard, and results from Week 3 games. Three biggest takeaways from loss to Ole Miss Georgia Tech dominated by Ole Miss 42-0. How did Georgia Tech football commits perform last night? 
Georgia Tech offers 2025 Tennessee athlete Terry and Grant Georgia Tech basketball set for a big recruiting visit weekend Georgia Tech volleyball loses on the road versus Arkansas ACC football official predictions for week three games Georgia Tech offers 2024 safety Jalen Thompson Georgia Tech reveals uniform combination for Saturday versus Ole Miss.